Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my very first video on my AFK Journey second channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over some basics because I'll be real, I've played the game quite a lot, but you know, I'm definitely not as knowledgeable as some of those guys like Vulcan, who Vulcan, by the way, if you've not followed him, is an absolutely fantastic content creator, would absolutely go and recommend him for anything AFK Journey related. So what I want to do is I want to showcase some basics that have helped me understand the game so that you guys can also understand the game at that level first as well. And I'm going to cover core concepts built out into individual videos. I am not going to cover too much because the, because honestly, in AFK Journey, there is so much content to talk about. Um, but I'm not going to cover too much in every single video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about the basics of building a team because sometimes when you get into AFK Journey, especially if you're new, you'll look at, you'll look at your screen and be like, what the bloody hell am I picking here? Like, what, what on earth am I supposed to pick to make my teams good? And there are some few, like, simple rules that you can go towards that will ultimately help you build better teams overall. And we're going to go through those now. So, first rule is, generally, there is a sort of a tried and tested team comp, a basic team comp that you can kind of go with for every single team that you want to build. And that is one tank. So you want to have at least one person on your team that is there as a dedicated tank. You want to have two DPS. So you need to have two team members uh, that are kind of core DPS. And I mean, what, what I mean by DPS is we call them damage per second, but essentially just anything that deals damage. You want to have one get like sort of dedicated support and supports generally tend to be healers um, or buffers or debuffers or whatever, but they generally are marked as some kind of support. And then you want to have one specialist. Uh, and specialists are kind of these units that have a mix of supportive and damaging type abilities. For instance, Laika, most of you should get access to Laika. She's relatively easy to pick up. She is, although a marksman, she's very much kind of a specialist because she has a lot of buffing, a lot of debuffing, uh, and so sort of fits that role quite nicely. Another sort of off-tank specialist would be something like Lucius. Um, Lucius is not as good as a primary tank, but as a good off tank slash, slash kind of like a specialist can be quite a good addition to this roster. So in general, you want to have one tank, two DPS, a support, and then like a flexi spot, you know, like a flexi support, uh, support spot, a flexi off tank spot. If you're feeling really spicy, maybe an extra DPS spot, depending on what you're going for, right? So this is kind of how you want to build your comps out when you're playing AFK Journey. Now we need to talk about affinities because there are affinities that you can get for building your teams and for instance in this particular team my graveborn affinity will be working what happens is you need at least three members of the same family every hero has got a family attached to them you've got the light bearers you've got um you've got the graveborn that i'm using you have things like the maulers you have things like the wilders every kind of like hero has a family attached to them that family, if you have three of them in your team, grants you a uh, a boost, a stat boost, basically. So it's good to build core teams around having at least three from the same family. So a lot of core teams have kind of like these good units that you can go to. For instance, for me, a Graveborn team that's very core is Thorin, Cecilia, and then Viperium. That Viperium could also be, in my case, maybe Sylvina, but... I think just for me, I prefer Viperion because he's less likely to get himself killed in the middle of battle. If you don't have a super high level Sylvina, she will just like run into the back and sometimes just die. I think Rowan for me is a, is a great dedicated specialist spot. The other option for a special so a support spot could be a uh, Hewin. Uh, Hewin is really, really good as well. So you could have Hewin or you could have Thor uh, Rowan. Both of those are really good, but there are other options should you want them. And then that flex spot is also really nice. So he's also a good support. Um, o oh, so not Odie. Um, where is it? Here we go. Uh, Smokey and Mirky. They're really, really great supports as well. Um, and then also, you know, for that, that's, that sort of specialist spot, it really just depends on who you've got. Like, you could just put another support in. You could put another off tank in. Um, you could put whatever you wanted. But that, that sort of support specialist spot works out quite well. And I'll, and I'll just show you kind of how this works in combat. Just with this particular build, by the way, guys, I left it going for so long. And we're now at like AFK Journey stage 70. Uh, and it's just, you know, way beyond the levels that we really should be doing. But this team comp just works so nicely that we've been able to get to this point. I'm probably going to stop at 70 just to give myself a bit of a break. But we're kind of clearing with relative ease, even though Thorin is dying uh, at the start of it. That's the, be the beauty of Thorin. He comes back to life. 
Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. Go all the way up to level 70, which is great. Um, and yeah, this team comp is just absolutely fantastic for pushing general levels overall. But I'm going to show you a little bit more than just this team comp. Um, we're going to go through and I'm going to quickly claim my, my rewards, but then I'm going to go through and we'll talk through some more of the other team comps that we can use. So we've talked a little bit about my Graveborn team, but what about some other teams? Because you're not all going to have this kind of stuff to work with. I'm going to assume that most of you have Cessia though, because Cessia is just a great early game. And to be honest, we pretty much all the way through the game, uh, a great DPS to have in your team. Though there are other, other comps that we can run depending on what you've unlocked, right? So a Wilder's team that you could run would be something like this, where you have um, Granny as your main tank. You've got your support in the form of Hewin. You've got Lyca, and then you've got a double DPS. So this could be a pretty strong Wilder team that you could run. You've got a tank, support, two DPS, and then kind of a flex spot. Um, again, it really depends on what you guys have got access to. I don't even have access to all the stuff that you would need to make um, pretty complete teams across the board at the moment. But this is another pretty strong team that you could potentially run that would work. Um, we can also have a look at light bearers. Now, light bearers, they don't really have a particularly strong tank. Like, like Lucius is okay, right? Lucius is an okay tank, but he's not absolutely fantastic. But let's say you want to run a light bearer team. Um, and you want to do it for, um, you want to do it for, let's get rid of this. So let's say we, we're, we're going to run a light bearer team. You probably want to run Rowan. You want to run Vala. And the, the last spot, it really depends on what you've got. Um, so Corin would be the best possible opportunity to, so the best one to have, but you could run Valen, for instance, and that'd be a very serviceable early comp. If you don't have Granny, you have Thorin. If you do have, don't have Granny or Thorin, then yes, you can run Lucius. He's very good in the early game, um, and you can make some swaps around. But again, you see what I'm getting at here. The main thing that we're focusing on is having three from the same faction, because you're going to get that faction resonance boost, which is really important. Um, and so there's a some couple of um, uh, builds you could run. There's also a potential Mauler build you could run. Now, I don't actually have any Mauler tanks, but I've got some really good Mauler supports. So let's say we could go, um, we'll drop in him for support. We want a range DPS, so we could drop in him. And then we do have kind of a tank. So Atandra is, is a pretty solid tank. She's not as good as um, Brutus, I don't think, but Atandra, very strong in that sense. And then we could run, I don't know, like keep Cecilia in. And then we want to run something else. So that could really be Lyca or whatever. That's a flex spot. So that can really be whatever. So, you know, you run Smokey and Mirky, you run Odie and you run um, Atandra. And then you've got Cecilia and then you've got Lyca. That's another really, really good team that you could run. And, and look, it's completely open about this, guys. It really, really just honestly depends on what you've got available to you. But always try and focus on getting three from that same faction, from that same family, and then work around that whole concept of one tank, two DPS, a support, and a flex spot. And that flex spot can kind of be whatever works for you. I generally am including Lyca in most of my builds at the moment because she is just the highest ascension that I've got. Um, but I've got a couple of others that are kind of near to her ascension anyway. But I'm just including Lyca because she's pretty good for me in terms of flexibility. And that is kind of a TLDR on some of the early game comps that you can run. Now, I'm going to go back to my favorite comp, which is obviously my Graveborn comp. So we are going to go back to him. We are going to go back to that. And then what was I running there? Rowan? Yeah. So this is what I was running. I could also run Hewin. Hewin and Rowan are similar, but I just like Rowan because he just generates a load of energy for your team. So this is like my favorite comp. So there's like a Graveborn comp. A Lightbearer's comp, a Wilder's comp, and a Mauler's comp, all of which are pretty good. Um, and again, it's all just running around that idea of having a tank, two DPS, a support, and a flex spot. And that will get you, that will be good enough for you to, to progress through the majority of the game. It's only when we get to Dream and other sort of battle modes that you need to start thinking about how you shake your team up. Um, so for instance, like, this is... Uh, dream realm there are certain there are certain heroes that are just better at dream realm than they are in kind of in a, a standard story mode i will cover that in a separate video though i don't want to overload you with information so hopefully this has been helpful for you in terms of just like looking at some team comps that work um i wasn't going to show you all of them in battle because that would just take a little bit too long and i've kind of pushed i've pushed my afk levels quite high quite high but the whole point is that you build comps like this um around certain units with with that family resonance bonus being important um, and I think that's, that's good enough to get you started. Cool. Enjoy guys. I'll see you on the next one.